Welcome to ITSC Technology. This is Vivek. So this is part number 10 related to Core Java interview question. So before the today to start this interview question, I want to tell you something uh, related to uh, our channel. Uh, this is our channel, right? Uh, okay. Yes, I am here. Yes, my channel. Okay, so this is our channel ITSC Technology. And if you want the playlist, so those people that don't know about the playlist, so go inside the playlist section. The four job inside the down one Java interview question and answer is there. This playlist having all the related four Java questions. Okay, these are the series are available here. You can go and watch parallelly one by one. Okay. So yes, this is all about that. So please subscribe to our channel and share with your friends. So, so if you are uh, liking my content, so, okay, then you can like that and share. If you don't like it, so fine. Don't you? get the knowledge that you. Can. Okay. So now let's go to start our discussion or the interview. So okay. So now first is uh, first question is. Uh, first question is, this is the continuation part of the selection. Uh, what are the main benefit of the selection framework in Java? First is, we have lots of benefits, but I am maintaining four benefits. But reusability. Java selection framework provides the common classes and utility methods. Common classes and utility methods. It then can be used with a different type of selection. This promotes the reusability of a the code. This is provide the reusability of the code. You can reuse that code by using collection. Okay. A developer does not have to reinvent the wheel by writing the same method again. Right. Quality. Using Java collection framework improves the program quality. Using Java collection framework improve improve the program quality. Since the Code is already tested and use the thousand of developer quality means what is this meaning of uh, this line means collection is already thousands of people are tested and using right now that's why it was tested one they provide the quality that you can use it number third point is speed most of the programmer report that the developer development speed increase since they can focus on core load and use the generic collection, provide the Java framework. And use the generic uh, logic and use the generic collection provided by the Java. Maintenance. Uh, since most of the Java collection framework code is open source and API documents is widely available, it is easy to maintain the code written with the help of Java collection framework. The developer can easily pick the code of previous developer, of previous developer. Right. So next question is, what is the root interface of collection hierarchy in Java? Root interface. So the root interface of our collection hierarchy is uh, interface but the collection extend the iterable interface. We discussed already. Okay, now discuss it. Okay. I'm coming to the next question. Okay, it's quite fun. Okay. So maybe the discussion is repeating again. Maybe. But that's not possible. This question is a different hierarchy. So the root interface of a collection hierarchy in Java is collection interface. But the collection interface extends iterable interface. Due to this, some people consider iterable interface as a root interface. Collection root hierarchy root interface is the collection interface, not the iterable. It wait collection is the extend the iterable interface. 
variable interface is the present in java.lang package, but the collection interface is present with java.util package. Or at all, Java API docs maintain that collection interface is a member of the Java collection framework. Whereas iterable, iterable interface is not state as the part of Java collection, as part of Java collection framework in Java docs. Due to this collection interface is the root of collection framework. How can we synchronize the element of a list as set of set or map? Set of map. How can we synchronize the element of a list as set or map? How how we can synchronize that? Element? So I have prepared something. Okay. Sometimes we need. Okay. Sometimes we need. Okay. Sometimes we need to make collection threads, right? Sometimes we need a uh, make it collection as a thread too, for use in multi-threading environment. Okay, when we use multi-threading environment, so far we need a collection as a thread set, so we make it as a thread set. In Java, collection class provides useful static method to make a list set or map, map as a synchronized collection. Some of the uh, these methods are first static t collection t synchronized collections. Okay, these are the methods. Return the synchronized thread set collection backend by the specified collection. A static list synchronized, we can make it as a collection of synchronized. We can make it as a synchronized list as a pass the list, then it will synchronize the thread set list back end, back end, back end, back by the specific list. Make it as a static map and synchronized map. So return the synchronized thread set map back by the specified means. Set synchronized set return a synchronized thread set set backend by the specified set. Now sorted map sorted map simple you can use it sorted map how to you can synchronize that using the thread set if you want any thread set then use this method. Okay, so now next question is, what is hash collection? What is the hash collection? Sorry, not a collection. Collision. What is hash collision? How Java handle hash collision in hash map? Collision. Now here you can understand what is the meaning of collision. First I will write, uh, uh, read it, then again I, I, I will explain that, okay? In uh, hashing, in a hashing scenario, at time, at time, two different objects may have same hash code, but they may not be equal. Maybe they having the maybe hashing the scenario, maybe having two different objects having same hash code. There, but they they may not be equal. Okay, therefore Java will focus issue while storing the two different objects with the same hash code in a hash map. This kind of situation is hash collision. What is the point? What is the uh, hash collision? Means object are the different. Okay, maybe object are the different. They are not same, but hash code are the same. Hash code are the same. Then you can say hash collision is there. Okay, there are different techniques to resolve. There are different techniques to resolve. Resolving or avoiding hash collision, but hash Java simply replace the object at old key. Old key, what is that? Old key with the new object in case of hash collision. What does that mean? Java simply replace the object at old key with new object. Java replace the object 
replace the object with the new object P. Now, next question is, this is our next. Okay. Yeah. Next question is that, what is that? Read this question. So, question is, what are the hash collision resolution technique? How to resolve that? How to resolve that hash collision? So, to resolve hash collision, we have used one of the following techniques. These are the techniques I have wrote it. Okay. You can separate the chaining with the linked list. Separate chaining with the linked head cell. Open addressing with the co-celled has been Okay, some more. Let's see this. Probably node has been Hop socket soch passing like What is the difference between Q and stack data structure? Stack and Q. In the academic discussion in common stack and Q. I think everyone knows very well. I am assuming that you know this question. The Q and stack data structure are what is the main difference between that stack and Q, right? So let's I am let I'm going to read this line. After that, I will explain. One by one line I will explain. So first, Q is a FIFO data structure. FIFO means first in, first out. In the Q. The Q now can go and see the railway railway. In the ticket counter in the railway station, one ticket counter is there, you can go and collect the ticket and out. Okay. If you go first, then you will get first ticket. Okay. If you go last, then you will get the last. So this is the same meaning here. Uh Q is the FIFO data structure. FIFO stands for the first in, first out. It means the element added first will be removed. In that case, first element you add. Which element added first, that element will remove first. Simple. Simple as that. A real world example of Q is the line of buying a ticket at the station. The person entering the first in the queue, the serve first. Right? This time. Stack is nothing but the LIFO. LIFO data structure is following the LIFO. Last in, first out. The stack means. Last is first up. If you in, in the last, then you will go first. The element that added last it is removed first from the color from the collection. In a stack element are added or removed from the top of the stack. The real world example is stack is back button in browser. We can go back one by one only, and it works in the reserve, res, reverse order of adding web page to his page. What it was for? Now, next question What is the iterator in Java? Iterator in Java. Iterator is the interface in Java to access the element in collection. What is it? Iterator. Iterator is just a collection interface. By using iterator, you can iterate, you can get that element in that uh, collection, like list, map, hash map, set, tree set, linked list. Any collection is there. Iterator is that common interface. You can, using iterator, you can access any element inside these collections. Like where it is available in the java.util package. It provides method to iterate over a collection class in Java. Iterator interface, now next year is iterator interface in Java is based on iterator design pattern. By using an iterator, one can be traversed at container of object and can also access the object in, in the container. Uh, the container of object is collection class in Java. What is the collection class in Java? Next question. Next question. I think it's a clear question. Iterator is simple. By using iterator. By accessing that type for the collection. From that collection. By using iterator. So, what is the difference between iterator and enumeration? You mean enumeration are the for that same purpose doing? Like accessing the element, 
from the collection, iterator are the output being sent. But what is the main difference? So version issue also. Enumeration is the Java since 1.0 version. But iterator is introduced in 1.2 Java. Remove method. The main difference between enumeration and iterator interface is the remove method. Enumeration can just traverse a collection object if use enumeration. We cannot do any modification to a collection while traversing the collection iterator. Collection traversing the collection. Iterator interface, the iterator interface provides the remove method to remove the element while traversing the collection. There is a not removed method in enumeration. What does that mean? Remove method is not available inside the enumeration interface, but remove method is available inside that there, uh, iterator interface. You can remove that element if you want at the time of accessing. Method name. What is that method name? Name of the method in iterator interface are has next, next, remove, and name of the method in enumeration interface has more elements and next element. Legacy interface is the enumeration is the considered as a legacy interface. What is the, why we are saying legacy? Why? Because this is introduced in 1.0 version. That's why we say legacy interface. It is used to traverse legacy classes like vector, stack, and hash table. What is that? Vector, stack, and hash table. Traverse. Iterator is a newer interface. Iterator is a newer interface that is used to that is used to traverse almost all of the classes in Java. Okay. Collection family. Fail fast versus fail safe. What is that? Iterator is based on fail fast principle. Based on where? Fail fast principle. Fail fast principle. It's through concrete modification exception. It's through concrete modification exception. If the collection is modified during the iteration over that collection, an enumeration is based on the fail safe principle. It does not throw any exception if collection is modifying during that traversal. What is it? If you access the collection, if collection element, ko modify karoge, add, karoge, change, karoge, update, so if you use iterator, then collection concurrent modification exception. De. But if you have enumeration ke through access the enumeration, then it will not be able to do that. Now, next question. What is design pattern used in Java implementation of enumeration in Java? Enumeration is design pattern for implementation. So now let's see. Enumeration is based on iterator design pattern. What are my points? Where iterator design pattern we have. So based on this, we design it. Iterator design pattern provides the common interface with method to traverse the collection of objects. It hides the underlying implementation with the particular. Okay. Iterator, simple say, iterator interface, iterator design pattern. Implement. Iterate, enumeration. Which method do we need to override to use an object as a key? A has method. Object method. Sorry. Which method do we need to override to use an object as key? Object as the key in a hash map. Understand? Which method do we need to override to use object? On some method, we know object as the key in hash map. We have a key value no? when we use hash map. So that's why. How? Which method? Which override? Which method we should override? To achieve this. So, if you want to use an object as a key in hash map in Java, then we have to make sure that it has the implementation to equals method and has called method. Must we have equals method and has called method. Then we can. Now, next question is how will you reverse list in Java? Simple. Collection dot reverse method is the reason we want. If you want to write your own, you can write it. No, don't do it. But collections provide that thing. 
can reverse the thing. Now, next question is how will you convert an array to string object into a list? What is that meaning? Convert array of a string, array of a string object into a list, array of a string object into a list. So, Java provides array class, arrays class in java.et package. Arrays class has a method as a list that accepts an array as input and return as a list as output. So now here is the example. You can see public static t means is that uh, no, any kind of generic type you can pass here. List of t as list. What is the method we have? As list and pass your array list. Which object you want, you can pass and that will convert into the list. So we have a string. Here you can see we have no, we have a string. A string array of a string. We have array of a string. Three and it will convert list my list array dot as list. Pass the list. Okay. What is the difference between P, full, and remove my third of Q interface in Java? Three method, P, full, and remove. Batana, that mean difference. So in Java, Q, full, and remove method can be used to removing the head object of a key. Head means first. First. The main different areas in the case when Q is empty. If Q is empty, the full method return null value. If Q is empty, then remove method is thrown no such element. This is the difference. Okay? In a Java Q, pick method retrieve the head of a Q, but if it does not remove it. If a Q is empty, then pick method return null value. Null value is case in the first is the first is come. Q is the empty, then it will be one. If 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 if, if, uh, if Q is the in empty, then if you if you are trying to remove the element, so trying to remove the so you will get the no such element exception. Right? So next what is the difference between array and array list in Java? So some differences I have wrote it. Lots of differences are there. You can search in Google, type this question on Google, and you will get more and more clarity. But they will provide more explanation with the example. Here I am not providing example, right? Right, right. I'm just giving a question to you. You can go and search in Google, you will get more clarity. If you are not understanding, both the some other video in a YouTube, lots of videos are there. Okay. I'm not Saying you can watch my video, you will get so much knowledge. No, no, not there. Okay, you can just go through my question. That's it. And please do support your site. So now, size. Let's see from our topic. Okay, so size array in Java is fixed. No change. We cannot change size of array after creating it. But array list is the dynamic in size. When we add element, the array list is the capacity increase automatically. If internally some formula is executing while increasing some other session and discuss. Okay. So performance. In Java, array and array list give the different performance or different operation for the different domain. Like if you perform in some adding, deleting, accessing, that kind of operation in that array, the different different performance is performance start we will get it okay add or get we have two methods add or get adding an element to an retrieving uh, or retrieving an element from an array or array list object has the similar performance these are constant time operation add and get right resize automatic resize of array list slow down the performance if you resize in that array Array list, array list is internally backend by an array in resize. 
temporary array is used to copy a element from the old array to a new array. Primitive. Primitives. Array can be contain both primitive data type as well as object. But array list, but array list cannot contain primitive data type. It contain only object. What is that is concerned? Only object is contained. Iterator in a array list, in a array list, we use an iterator object to traverse the element. What is that? Traverse the element. We use for loop for iterating element in an array. What is that in an array? Iterating that. So type safety also. Go to my point. Type safety. Java helps Java helps increasing ensuring type safety of an element in an array list by using generic. What is that? By using generic type safety will provide. Array list is providing. Array is not providing. Okay. I think we got size, performance, and resize. Primitive. These are the main main different things. Okay? Now, next question is. Got it, my point. You guys. Okay. So now, how we will insert or delete? How we will insert or delete and retrieve uh, element from hash map collection in Java? Retrieve, we use get method to retrieve element from hash map a value get object key. Pass that object key. Which element we want to get, pass that object key. That's it. Insert. We use put method to insert a key value pair in hash map value. Put first pass the key and pass the value. That's it. And delete by using remove method. Delete key value pair from that hash map value. The remove pass that object. That's it. Okay. That's what is the main difference between hash map and concurrent hash map? Java. <laughs> hash map synchronization synchronization a hash map is a not synchronized not synchronized multiple thread can execute but concurrent thread is synchronized object one thread at a time access but hash map is not multiple thread can access that object why because that's why Performance issue is there inside the hash map, but concurrent hash map don't have this kind of thing. Sorry, in the performance issue is there inside the concurrent hash map. Why because there are threads you can access at a time only one, one time only one thread can execute on the concurrent hash map object, but hash map hash map object can uh, execute multi thread at a time. So null key. Hash map contain only null key and any number of null value. Only one null key uh, is correct. But concurrent hash map cannot be have null key or null value. You can store it. Okay. So that's important. I don't want to do null value store, karni, null, null key store. Karni. I am just storing a key as a value, key as ID, and value as a value. Okay. Multi-threading. Concurrent work well in multi-threading. Environment, right? But has what is the increasing order of performance for the following collection? Concurrent works well in multi-threaded environment. Okay, synchronized, synchronized. Okay, not synchronized, no? Nah? I'm just confused. Okay, okay, sorry, sorry. Hash map is not synchronized. It is not synchronized. The concurrent has not been synchronized. Okay. What is the increasing? You can do the reverse. No. Uh, what is the increasing order of performance of following collection? Class in Java. Increasing order of it. Hash table is the most. Synchronized map is more concurrent map than hash. Concurrent map is because it's along the multi-threading, that's why. 
as not is not allowed multi thing that was getting a performance you see as table has the most performance and as map has the best performance why does map why does map interface not extend collection interface in there map interface not extend the collection what is the difference see okay, map is the collection object but map interface is not compatible compatible with collection interface in there the map requires key as well as value so it requires two parameter to add the element to the map but collection interface provide add method object the with the only one parameter okay. map collection has to provide method like value set key set etc these method are specific to map collection whereas methods in collection interface can be reused by list set queue that's why you see the reason what is the reason you can see simply say the collection uh, reuse the method collection is reuse the method like uh, list set and queue but in the map which is not reusable possibility like we, we provide the value set key set okay and the collections also having add method okay but inside if you want to add that element in that the map so we put with that two key and value now next question is what is the difference way to different no, different ways to iterate element of a list in java there are mainly two ways to iterate the element of list here first is iterator we can get an element for list and use it to iterate the object of the list for each loop we can use for each loop to traverse all the element of the list Always we can iterate by using iterate by using for each loop. What is the copy on right array list, and how it is different from array list in Java? Copy on right array list was introduced in Java five version. It is thread set collection. Okay, it is similar to array list. In copy on right array list. all mutative mutative operation add set etc are implemented by making a fresh copy of underlying array iterator of copy on right array list is the guaranteed to not throw concurrent modification but iterator also does not reflect any additional any additions removers that happened to list after the iterator was created all uh, elements including null are permitted in copy on right array list so thank you guys thank you this is the thank you template i have just added by vivek okay so thank you you can follow me on facebook group those people those on facebook right now i'm not using facebook So there, I will share this PPT. You can go and check some other video in the description. You can get the Facebook link as well as Instagram also. You can try and plan for that. So, okay. So thank you. We will meet a uh, next session. Okay. Thanks. Please do support our channel. Guys.